Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance refers to the discomfort experienced when individuals hold contradictory beliefs, attitudes, or behaviors. This discomfort motivates people to resolve the inconsistency to restore internal harmony. It's like trying to convince yourself that eating an entire cake is part of your balanced diet because, hey, it's got eggs in it. Confirmation bias. Bias involves the systematic favoring of certain ideas, individuals, or groups over others, often without conscious awareness. These biases can influence perception, judgment, and decision-making. It's like your brain wearing rose-colored glasses while watching a romantic comedy, ignoring all the red flags because, well, love conquers all, right? The halo effect. The halo effect occurs when a positive impression of someone in one area leads to an overall positive perception of that person. It's like assuming someone's a superhero just because they have a killer smile, completely overlooking the fact that they're more likely to trip over their own cape. The bader meinhof phenomenon. The bader meinhof phenomenon, also known as frequency illusion, is the experience of noticing something more frequently after learning about it for the first time. It's like suddenly seeing llamas everywhere after watching The Emperor's New Groove. As if the universe decided to throw a llama-themed party just for you. Placebo effect. The placebo effect refers to the phenomenon where a fake treatment or inactive substance produces real improvements in health due to the belief that it's effective. It's like tricking your brain into thinking kale chips taste like Doritos because you put them in a Doritos bag. Your taste buds may be fooled, but your guilty pleasure still knows the truth. Fundamental attribution error. Attribution is the process of explaining the causes of behavior, often attributing actions to internal, personal, or external, situational factors. It's like blaming the dog for eating your homework when you know full well you were binge-watching cat videos on YouTube instead. Mere exposure effect. The exposure effect, also known as the mere exposure effect, is the phenomenon where repeated exposure to a stimulus increases liking or preference for that stimulus. It's like when your brain decides you must be best friends with the guy who sits next to you on the bus every morning, even though you've never exchanged a single word beyond, excuse me. The Pygmalion Effect. The Pygmalion Effect occurs when higher expectations lead to an increase in performance. It's like your boss expecting you to be the office rock star, and suddenly you're performing PowerPoint karaoke like you're headlining at Madison Square Garden. Inattentional Blindness. Inattentional blindness is the failure to notice unexpected stimuli in our environment when our attention is focused elsewhere. It's like searching for your keys in the fridge because your brain decided it needed some cold cuts for company on its journey to absent-minded well, island. Yeah, the Dunning-Kruger Effect. The Dunning-Kruger Effect is a cognitive bias where individuals of low ability overestimate their own skill level due to a lack of self-awareness. It's like thinking you're the next Shakespeare after writing a haiku about your cat, completely unaware that the literary world just collectively facepalmed. Framing effect. The framing effect describes how the presentation of information can influence decision making. People tend to react differently to the same information depending on how it's framed. For example, if you were told that a glass is half full, you might feel more optimistic than if you were told it's half empty. It's like choosing between 90% lean and 10% fat ground beef, even though they're describing the same thing. Hindsight bias. Hindsight bias is the tendency to believe, after an event has occurred, that one would have accurately predicted the outcome. It's like saying you knew your favorite team would win the game after watching the highlight reel, conveniently forgetting the nail-biting stress you felt during the actual match. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern where individuals doubt their accomplishments and have a persistent fear of being exposed as a fraud despite evidence of success. Those experiencing imposter syndrome often attribute their achievements to luck or other external factors, rather than acknowledging their own abilities. It's like winning an award and secretly wondering if they got your name right on the plaque. Zygarnik Effect The Zygarnik Effect is the tendency to remember unfinished tasks or interrupted activities better than completed ones. This phenomenon suggests that incomplete tasks create a state of tension or mental open loops, making them more memorable. It's like having a mental to-do list that only reminds you about the tasks you've been procrastinating on. Groupthink. Groupthink occurs when members of a cohesive group prioritize harmony and conformity over critical thinking and rational decision-making. In groupthink situations, individuals may suppress dissenting opinions or avoid raising concerns to maintain group cohesion, resulting in flawed decisions or outcomes. It's like everyone agreeing that pineapple belongs on pizza 
just to avoid starting a fruit-based civil war at the office potluck. Did you know all these psychological phenomena? Write it down in the comments and thanks for watching.